Hello LEGO fans, what's up? It's me, Harry from HK Studios, and today I'm going to be unboxing um, LEGO knockoff figures that I got in the mail. So, let's unbox these figures. I won't show my personal things here. So, this is a LEGO Hulk, um, two LEGO Deadpools, and a LEGO Doctor Strange figure. So these are the three figures. Lego Doctor Strange here. I'll try and get that in focus. Lego Doctor Strange. Lego Hulk big fig. And a Lego Deadpool figure. So let's unbox Lego Deadpool first, shall we? So this is the custom Lego Deadpool that I have brought. And this Deadpool has a winking eye. It, it looks pretty cool. I did buy another Deadpool because it has a blank face, uh, because lots of people won't like how it comes with a winking face. Um, I really do like this figure because he looks like the Deadpool from the movie. He has a torso and he has two bullet holes on his chest right there, and that looks pretty cool. I'll show you his back printing underneath, underneath his little uh, holster for his swords. That's his back printing, it looks really nice. And he's got black legs at the back for some reason, I don't know why. But yeah, that's just what it is. Um, he does come with two Uzis, and they do look really cool. Um, they have little silencers on them, which is pretty cool. And they can come off as well, so if you want a normal Uzi. There you go, so that is the Lego Deadpool. Just put him back together. So that is the Lego Deadpool, and I really like him. Again, I am buying another one to give him a normal face. And this guy only goes for around $2 on eBay. It's pretty cheap. I uh, got him for a really good deal, especially in Australian prices, because Australian Lego is extremely cheap. I mean, it's extremely expensive, and this figure is really cheap for him, um, considering that the official Lego one costs around $35 US. So that's $60. Oh, it's actually, yeah, $35 in Australia. So that's uh, quite a lot of money for one trigger. So the second figure that I have up is Lego Hulk. And I really do like this Hulk because his head comes off. And also, his hair comes off. And you can use him, you can buy lots of him, because he's only $5 for customising. So you can custom make your own big figs, take off his hair. And he he's pretty good. He goes for around $5, as I said. And his two accessories are these, a hammer and a, uh, um, what's, what's the name of this? A... a I forgot the name of it. I, d I did just memorize the name of it, but um, I forgot what it's called. So, uh, th this is a pretty good figure. He's from Age of Ultron. His head printing is actually pretty correct. I like um, all of that. And he's got the Age of Ultron printing on his legs. And it's surprising because he comes in some sets, most of them pr being pretty expensive. And this one's only $5 on eBay. It is kind of supporting the knockoff figure industry, but but I think that um, if you're looking for a cheap bargain to buy your favorite figures, you should buy the knockoff ones. This is a spanner, by the way. So mostly these figures are all good so far. And third figure is Doctor Strange. He's a... He's an alright figure. He's actually really good. <laughs> well, he's really good except for his head print and his skin tone because his skin tone is very different from the normal person skin tone, that the peach skin tone that it's supposed to be like. Um, I don't know. It's like a tan. It's, I don't want to be racist or anything, but his, his skin tone is a bit different from what it's supposed to look like from the actual Lego figure. Um, so, he comes with two of these, uh, I don't know what they're called, they're just the 
his magic that he uses and it's kind of cool because it's a time stone activating um one so um when he uses the time stone it's it's green so he's using that which is kind of cool because i don't think in the sets he comes with uh the green one version of that he comes with the orange one which he uses um to do most of his spells on that so this one comes with the time stone one so correct me if i'm wrong in the infinity war sets so um his cape is all right it was as you can see at the back it's kind of it was kind of crinkled when it, in the postage which isn't very impressive um the back printing's pretty good um and most disappointingly his double-sided face is scratched on the eye and as you can see the face is kind of misprinted it's a little bit higher than it should be but I can fix that by just using the Jack Sparrow head and as you can see the difference between the two skin tones um, might not see it as clear on camera but it it's a, it's a bit more yellow it's like a yellowish color it's got like a tinge and I think that's because of the plastic that it um, is used in the plastics a bit weak, like worse um, that's why it's cheaper these figures this figure goes around three to two dollars uh, in Australia which is extremely cheap for this figure considering this guy is exclusive with his hairpiece um, to the Sanctum Sanctorum set Infinity War so that's a expensive set um, and if you're like me and you don't really like that set because of the the build isn't that good and I just prefer buying modular buildings um, and if you just want it for the figures just buy them online on Bricklink or just if you're feeling lazy like me just buy your uh, what's it called the knockoff ones well the knockoff ones aren't as good as the Lego ones obviously the plastic isn't good Do you love these figures or do you hate these figures? Please put your comments down below. Remember to like and subscribe so I can put out more content. See you soon.